a brand new year, 2023, and that means there's a brand new LEGO CMF series release. This is series 24. It doesn't match the year number anymore. I got 12 of them here. This is the last series in plastic blind bags, unfortunately. They're switching to boxes next series, which is a real shame, but uh, we were able to feel them while we still can. So we're gonna open these all today, and hopefully I did not get any duplicates. So the first one we have today is the French aristocrat lady person. All right, this... <laughs> This looks like a Duplo piece. This is a crazy little legging hoop skirt kind of thing. I don't know what you call that, but that is, there's a lot of area in the back there. <laughs> but yeah, this, oh, look at that. It, <laughs> sorry, it just kind of like completely fills up the, the back of the base plate there. But you just got two different faces. Oh, okay, but we've got a little smile thing there. Is that like dirty? Do you see that? It's kind of dirty. I don't know if that's intentional or maybe we were like feeling the bag too hard i don't know but there we go we've got her powdered face her powdered wig and i'm pretty sure this is a powdered dog they made a chihuahua in like a tan color before and this is like a white version i'm pretty sure she just like uses her dog to powder her face but that's something to talk about in the video maybe <laughs> so there we go aristocrat and i'm also gonna open this real quick so this is the sheet that all the 12 figures are on and then kind of the checklist so we've got one of 12 so far no duplicates so far that's good news little instructions for some of the things in the back i may be needing that later but yeah so number two is going to be da -da -da, the rocking horse girl all right this one was probably like just the most boring in my eyes but there's still some cool to be had about it she's got a little no alternate face all right no i changed my mind this is the worst figure does the hair not cover the back fully what's the deal with that bro they're just being like <laughs> normally i don't like the claims of legos being lazy but like there's no reason they couldn't have given her an alternate face. What about when she's just having like an absolute ball on this thing? Like she's just going nuts? You need an alternate face for that. I don't know. But yeah, the, this jumper is included so you can place her on the thing with her one boring face. No, I'm unapologetically just hating on that figure. I'm sorry. But number three, I will not hate on because it is definitely better. It is the dinosaur. Okay, yeah. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of the, the animal costume CMFs just because, well, like, they have a massive hole on the side. But, like, this one is really well done. Oh, there's printing on the rubbery tail there. Already great. The torso is just exquisite. It's not super fine detail, but, like, the detail that they have. So cool. I like it. Look at that. And then we've got toe printing for the little claws, little cartoony. Oh, man. Sorry. But the, re the main reason I was saying this, do you have an alternate face? Good, you're better than her. This isn't a great alternate face, too. Wait, you come with two tails? Hold on. Right, I was trying to do something, but it doesn't work. It doesn't, whatever. We just get a free tail, which is awesome. You didn't come with a free tail, did you? But no, no, no. Normally, I don't like that there's a big gap in the, the face there, but this one, it's kind of like hidden beneath the mouth. And like the head is just kind of weird. I don't know what species of dinosaur this is meant to be, but I really like the shaping of the head with like, the two eyes sticking out like that. And the face is kind of hidden in the, the mouth there. Great animal figure. I know I said the turkey was one of the best, but this one, one of the best -ers. But one of the best -ers is going to be this figure, which of course, obviously, is the brown spaceman. Yes, I'm excited about this one. Oh, look at that. I was curious how this is going to work, if it's like a separate piece. But yeah, it's all one piece together. The hat, helmet, and little air tanks in the back. But this is baby Benny. This is just the main figure. I don't even care about the brown. No, it's cool to get a new color of uh, classic Spaceman. But obviously a little bit more for my time. But I saw Benny in the Lego movie. So that's that's more something I can connect with. And I'll just build the brown Spaceman real quick. All right, there it is. There's no alternate face. I'm I'm okay with no alternate face on this one because it's supposed to be like old and classic. You are not supposed to be old and classic. There's one more thing in this. It's like a little baby monitor. I it's really cool. Look at this. So it has like the the baby Benny sleeping. Oh, it's just adorable. Kind of messed up the print there, but whatever. I love it anyways. Wonderful. No duplicate so far. We are a third of the way done. But will that change in the next one? The next one is going to be. The paper boy. This is another one where it's like, when I first saw it, I thought it was cool. And then I was like, I'm going back and forth about it. But seeing it in person, I'm loving the printing on the torso. Look at those overalls. And they're kind of like, they go up from the pants. They hold the pants up. That's something really unique. And his face is just iconic. He's like, extra, extra. What is like that? that. Oh, look at that. Extra. Even says it on the paper. Can't really read anything there, but it's like that other classic policeman that was like the first minifigure ever but it was also in series 18 but he also has a bag yeah we've got this we've got a nice little paper hat and two slingshots which are like a nice dark brown color i like that not like super new but the hat is new and i love it so 
Yeah, great figure. Better than her. But you know it's also better than her, as we are going to continue to dunk on her the entire video, is going to be the Farmer Guy Carrot Person. That's the official name, by the way. But we've got... It, it could have just been a boring animal. Not animal. Carrot costume? Vegetable? Food costume? That's the word I'm looking for. We've got this overall thing beneath, and like this could be used as a real person. Look at those chops. He's kind of... Oh, I love that face. <laughs> I didn't know it came with facial hair. That's cool. And it also comes with orange hair, kind of like the curly... He's on Finn, maybe, at some point in the, the Star Wars sets, but look at that. This could just be a real person. And then also you get the thing as an addition. This is how you do a food costume. Like, <laughs> it's kind of dorky. You can only use this piece as a food costume, but I'm okay with that because the mini figure itself is fine and it comes with a farmer's market sign. The nice little pumpkin and those are like real pieces, like those little flag pieces. So you know what? I am okay with an animal, a food costume for once. I'm just getting those mixed up. I'll put them right next to each other to alleviate that problem. But then do you know what else will alleviate the problem? Is opening up the next figure, which is going to be the spaceman, never mind. <laughs> no, this one, it, I like the design. I just, I hate the colors. And what is all these pieces? There's so many extra pieces. I'm gonna need the instructions for this because yeah, you only need like six of these and they included 12. So I guess that's, oh, what? Okay, no, the face is kind of cool. Hold on. I thought it was just gonna be a black head with yellow dots on it, but like this is actually, it went above and beyond on this one. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about this, but still kind of upset. <laughs> but look at this, look at this thing. There's not an inch of printing on that. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. You get a new Greek color for a bit. <laughs> I didn't know that. There's like a little piece, sun gauge in there. And it's the perfect color. shape for this hole in the back. All right, so now I'm okay with it. Does the, this make any sense? No, there's no alternate face, but like that is so cool. But there's no printing on the hat. The color scheme is just wacky, like pink and green and sand green and white. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some people are interested in that, but it's just a little too strange for me. So the build that we make for this guy is going to be quite odd. All right, that is an interesting shape for a gun, I'll say. But we get four extra pieces from that. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> This could have been so cool if it was like cooler colors, but whatever, I'm over it. Still better than the rocking horse. We are over halfway done now and still no duplicates. We are doing them fantastic. But you know what else is fantastic? Is the conservationist figure with the koala. The, the conservationist himself is he's decent, right? Oh, nice. Printing on the back, cool. Rescue with a little paw print. I wish this was almost like a t-shirt more so than like the black sleeve underneath. Whatever, really cool hat, really cool head. Well, no, I like that, yeah. He's happy about his job. That's cool. I think new color for this piece, maybe? And the koala is not just like one molded piece with long the branch, it's like two with like a, the eucalyptus probably this is. So I really like that. Can you hold the leaf or the koala by his backside? Wonderful. And you know what I've always wanted to try since I realized that the koala is a separate piece? Can it hold a gun? Yes, it can. This is the best figure ever. <laughs> Look at this. Mess with the nature, the koalas are gonna get you. I'm literally gonna leave that like that. I don't even care. <laughs> we'll have this off to the side. But you know what else is off to the side is the next figure, which is going to be the yellow referee person for soccer, is what I call it in America, or football is what most of the world calls it. This is pretty interesting because this is a new color for Lego. I think it was new last year. It's like this bright neon highlighter yellow. And I don't know if any minifigure parts made in it before, so kind of a cool first. There's a lot of printing on her, like her arms. She's got like a 45 number waistband kind of thing. What's on this waistband? Timing, but she's got the whistle, a pen, sport on the back. She's just shouting. I don't know anything about the sport of soccer, so I am apologize or football or whatever. I don't know anything of that either. But yeah, you get like a yellow card if you're like kind of bad and a red card if you're really bad at soccer. So I think I deserve the red card. It's cool to get a soccer ball in such a cheap thing. Normally they're really expensive. So we'll just move on to the next one, which is the Potter. Okay. Hold on. There's one more thing in the bag. There we go. So this this comes with quite a few things. I, I like the colors. I originally was like, ew, with the, the original color scheme with like the teal and the lavender and then the other teal, a lot of teal. I don't know, but I, I kind of like it now. <laughs> I've given some more thought and seeing it in person definitely makes me appreciate it more. I like the t-shirt. I wish the conservationist with the gun would do that more but uh let's see which which one is on the bottom the dark gray comes with a new ice cream cone color at least new for me i think little potter wheel with a potter pot and a potter cup i love that oh and there's an extra bowl wonderful can you make a double bowl look at that this is gonna be really fun and look at that wrap around kind of thing on the head it's with like animal crossing logos i like this what was the alternate face again 
She's thrilled. Way better than the rocking horse girl. What's the next one? All right, this is the second to last one. We have got none other than the falconer. Okay, I felt so many falcons in the store because these wings are very recognizable. So first of all, new falcon piece, wonderful. Second of all, this is a weird kind of looking cape. Is it kind of off to the side or anything? Well, we'll, we'll see in a second. And then third of all, we've got a plastic bag with the rest of the pieces in it. So Black Falcons faction logo. I don't know anything about Lego Castle, really. Uh, where'd the head go? Oh, it's still in the bag. Oops, I'm so sorry. What are the alternate faces? Happy and just thrilled. Everyone in this series is so happy, and I'm I'm glad about that. Red hair, not super realistic, but whatever. I like this t dark tan bow. And then her the falcon can go in her hand. Look at that. This is looking great. And, ooh, the backside, too. Perfect for any medieval build. Look at the satchel on her waist. Wonderful. I love satchels. But do you know what I love most is this final figure, which just so happens to be probably my favorite of the series. I didn't mean to save it for last, but here we are. This is none other than the orc. Well, the, this orc sword. The rest of it's kind of stuck in the bag. Here we go. This is another one where it's in a plastic bag. And hopefully there's a cape in there, too. There we go. So look at this. It's like all tattered and torn. Let's see the rest of the stuff. Oh, speaking of ripped, look at his six pack there. He is buff. But yeah, this like rubbery jaw piece is really interesting. No alternate face? Well, he has no backside, so that's excusable, unlike you. Look at that. His overbite there is, wow, or probably underbite. His little loincloth, more like those kneecap things with claws. Very similar to the dinosaur, actually. But that's not all. He's also got a hollow stud at the top to have this little ponytail, and I forgot to put the cape on, so that makes it even better. And I also forgot to put her cape on, so hold on. Yeah, apparently when you put the cape on that they're included with, uh, it looks a lot better, so there we go. <laughs> but also the orc guy, he comes with this amazing shield. Like, look at that. This is like the new updated orc logo they were talking about in the leak. And I, I grew up with like the 2008 castle theme with like the orcs as the bad guys. They had the swords. I love this as like a throwback. But this is such a great remaster for the figure, the orcs theme. So actually, I did get two of them. So I already opened that one off camera. But look at that. We've got two orcs that can duke it out, and they could probably take all of these guys in a fight. But thank you for watching this unboxing video. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. And 24ville is coming soon, but we have to finish 23ville first. So stay tuned for that.